We started off class by doing the reviews exam. And that way we don't run out of time and there are things that you're missing. Um, I want you to be able to get through this. In my hand is your exam. And I'm going to let you know right now. I'm not going to try and trick you. I'm going to tell you what's on this exam and what you need to study. It is up to you to study it then. All right? It, it is up to you to get this accomplished. Looking at the exam um, and what we've done in the past in terms of breaking it up over two days and we had a 50-minute class, I don't see it necessary to break up into two days. All right? It's, it's one of those things. It's based on the time. <coughs> Should I change my mind? Well, that won't hurt you because you'll have already studied for it. Uh, and uh, I want to make sure you know exactly what's on here. So like I said, I am not going to trick you here. I'm going to let you know what you need to study. And then it is up to you to make sure you know all the information coming into the test. This way, look, you have to understand, this is not subjective. This is an objective test. This isn't based on what I think. need to know the difference between the crime control model and the due process model. Okay, the crime control model and the due process model are Herbert Packer's models. All right? The conflict and consensus models are how we see the, uh, the communication lines and operation within the system. So in other words, do these agencies work stages of the criminal justice process, including what is occurring in the investigation, okay, followed by the arrest, the booking, okay, charging from the prosecutor, initial appearance, Indictment or information. Indictment or information. Arraignment. Trial. Sentencing. They are listed in order on your. Uh, they are listed in order on your review sheet. So that is the order you need to know. Now this is for several different sections of the test. One of those sections is the order process. When I give you the order process, okay, what you are to do is from 1 to 10 or 1 to 11, order them in the correct order they belong. It is not hard to get that 10 points. That is a, a easy, easy, easy 10 points on this exam. All right, you also need to know uh, Concurrent and consecutive sentencing. You need to know the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Sixth Amendment, the Eighth Amendment, and the Fourteenth. These are our due process amendments. You need to know what is in each stage. If I ask you um, the question, in what, uh, what met, uh, amendment governs the right to an attorney, you all will say which amendment. Better start studying. These are way too easy. Sixth Amendment. Okay? Fourth Amendment is search and seizure. Fifth Amendment. 
process, right against self-incrimination, double jeopardy, uh, and a couple other things. Uh, Sixth Amendment is your right to attorney, public and speedy trial. You need to know that. All right, you need to know Miranda versus Arizona. And what goes into your Miranda rights? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be better in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you. All right, at no charge. You can refuse questioning at any time. Would you answer questions now? Uh, you need to know the different types of plea. Guilty, not guilty, no low contendere, or no contest. You need to know what it means to stand mute, the type of plea that is entered. You must be able to define precedent. You must know what it is, what, what a precedent is. You need to know what scary decisis is. Can you spell that? Yes, S-T-A-R-E, second word, decisis, D-E-C-I-S-I-S, -I, -I, I think. survey by the Bureau of Justice Statistics. Okay, these are ways we measure crime. You also need to know self-report studies. Yes, the National Crime Victimization Survey, the NCDS. Okay, and self-report studies. You need to know the differences between a spree killing, a serial killing, and a mass killing. Those are types of murder. You need to know who Edwin Sutherland is. Edwin Sutherland was responsible for social, uh, for differential association. He was also responsible for being the first to define white collar crime. 
need to know the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. Theories, you need to know William Sheldon and somatotype theory. He is associated to somatotype theory. William Sheldon. You need to know Robert Merton, who is associated to anomie strain theory. A N O M I E strain. Now, generally, the biological school of theories, the classical school of theories, and the sociological school of theories, generally. You need to know what <coughs> atavism is, A-T-A-B-I-S-M, atavism. Social control theories, social bond theory, and self control theory. You need to know who Cesar Bacaria is C E S A R E B E C C A R I A. Cesar Bacaria. And who Jeremy. Bentham is. Bentham is B E N T H A M. You need to know common law, case law, administrative law. Statutory law, <coughs> civil law, procedural law, and substantive law. Substantive law. It's S U B S T A N T I V E. Substantive. You need to know the difference between espionage and treason. You need to know what an inchoate offense is. It's just an attempted offense, an inchoate offense, as well as what an infraction You need to know what the elements of the offense are. Mens rea, actus reus, mens rea is spelled M-E-N-S, second word, R-E-A. You need to know 
female actus reus. That's A C T U S R E U S. Those are two words. You <coughs> need to know concurrence. You need to know harm or harm done and causation. Those are the five elements of an offense. You need to know what we mean by corpus delecti. That's C O R P U S D E L I C T I. It's two words corpus delecti. You also need to know habeas corpus. circumstances. You need to know how many levels of mens rea we have and what those levels are. to know who the Bow Street Runners are. Preventative Patrol Experiment. You need to know who the Wickersham Commission is. W-I-C-K-E-R-S-H-A-N. 
you need to know who Alice Stebbins Wells is. You need to know what we mean by centralized state law enforcement versus a decentralized state law enforcement. In other words, are two types of state police agency. And I would know which state does not have a state police agency, i.e. Hawaii. You need to know about uh, <coughs> the operational strategies of police officers, realistic watchmen in service. You need to know what directed patrol is. What crime analysis is. What evidence-based policing is. What we mean by chain of command. What we mean by span of control. We need to know community policing. Team policing. Problem solving or problem oriented policing. strategic policing. You need to know the three eras of policing, historical era, political era, reform era, progressive era, okay, and community era. Community era. I would know what preventative patrol is. Uh, ancillary services or support services and emergency response. We also understand organizational hierarchy.
the exclusionary rule. Exclusionary rule. What we what we mean by search incident to arrest. Yes, what we mean by search incident to arrest. I say plain view doctrine? Yes. Okay. You also need to know the good faith exception. The good faith exception. And that is the exception to the exclusionary rule. We need to know what we mean by custody. Custody. Now, the following four cases. These are, okay, I'm going to give you the 20 or so cases that you need to memorize. They are a matching section. This can either be the bane of one's existence, or this could be the easiest 20 points you get. It all depends. And what's oddly interesting is the you know, hundreds of students who have taken this exam. This section often determines kind of where you position yourself in the grade. People who do very poorly on this section generally struggle on the whole test. People who rock this section usually rock the test. All right? Um, but these aren't the cases you need Tennessee versus Garner. Tennessee versus Garner. G-A-R-N-E-R. -E United States versus Mendenhall. Question? All you need to know, know is the decision. Okay, you don't need to know the facts of the cases. You know, unless you're curious and interested in them, what you need to know is the decision of me. Okay, I might say something like, in this case, the court ruled that a warrantless search is valid if based on a reasonable belief that contraband is present. That is a court decision. And you need to know what case it came from. All right. Uh, second case was United, yes. Second case was United States versus Mendy. Third case is Carroll versus the United States. Okay. Double R, double L in Carroll. You need to know Mac versus Ohio. M-A-P-P, -P, Mac. You need to know Harris versus the United States. H-A-R-R-I-S, Harris versus the United States. You need to know the United States versus Robinson, R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N. -S you need to know Maryland versus Bowie, B-U-I-E, Bowie. Hudson versus Michigan. Hudson, H U D S O N versus Michigan. I hope you all can spell Michigan. You need to know Weeks versus the United States. W E E K S. Weeks versus the United States. You need to know Terry versus Ohio. You need to know Katz versus the United States, K-A-T-Z. You need to know United States versus Leon, L-E-O-N. Schimmel versus the United States. Schimmel is C H I 
with that, control exam. Yes, it's a big exam. See, on the first day of class, when I say to everybody, we're prepping you for this midterm, it's because this is all the foundational information. It's the basics. You need to know the basics. You have 14 Correct. Um, make sure, I'll, I'll double check to make sure there aren't any more. Alright, someone give me a quick study guide here. With the chain of command, you need to know well, what the term is, is what it is. Chain of command is a authoritative structure. Right, but do we need to know the specifics of the structure? No, you do not need to know the specifics of the structure. You need to know the difference between like your tall hierarchy versus a flat hierarchy, which is really based on centralization of command versus decentralization of command, which is your
today, and I will, I will, I'll split it into two sections. The first section is going to be all of your multiple choice. All right, multiple choice, true, false, uh, a little short answer, things like quality of light policing. All right, that's like a little short answer question, by the way. No, I, I don't expect it to. Um, you know, all right, let me put it this way. I've had one student finish the exam in 15 minutes. And that's like the whole exam with the court cases and everything else, not splitting it up. I've had someone take upwards of an hour and a half. So I, I really think that we could do this all in one period. make our country leave it. <laughs> All right. All right, that was step one, getting through the review. I'm glad I started with the review. I'm very glad I started the review. Okay, so then step two is going to be chapter six.